Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Mason here from Mason Tech Help. And uh, I'm going to review a product that I got for Christmas this year. It is the Apple TV, as you can see here. And uh, so I, it's been great so far. It's been obviously taken out of the box. There's the box. And uh, I'm just going to do a full review on it today. I'll even hook it up to my TV and show you what it's like. So uh, we'll just get right into it. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go over the hardware and what's in the box. So, uh, first of all, we'll take a look at the box here. Here is the box. As you can see, it's uh, pretty standard for Apple packaging. And it just slides out like that. Okay, there we go. Here we have where the Apple TV would fit. And then the remote, which I will show you later. And all of your, uh, and where your power cable would go, which is right there. And of course, you got your instructions, Apple stickers, getting started guide, etc. That, that's basically all that the box holds. Now for the uh, Apple TV hardware. Okay, so from the front, nothing is visible. A little light does come on in the front. Sometimes, like when the TV is actually on but uh, nothing and nothing on the sides at all on the back you have your power slot your HDMI slot your optical audio slot and your firewire slot I believe you're really only going to use your power slot and HDMI slot for this oh and you have a, a little USB port there if you can see it that's it that's the Apple TV right there that's the basis of it that's uh, all that it has built into it, I guess. So um, that is, so I'm just gonna come back when it's all hooked up to my TV. Okay, so I have the Apple TV plugged in now, and uh, this is the remote that I was talking about. It is all set up. It's not on the right input in my TV right now, but I'll be getting there. Okay, so uh, just a quick review. Um, so you got your. Uh, power cable here which I have going down into my power strip and then you have your HDMI cable which I have going into my TV um, what you uh, the HDMI does not come with the Apple TV you have to buy it separately so really when they say a hundred dollars if you don't have an extra HDMI cable kicking around like I did, it's really going to be about 140 to 170 if you want a decent one. But I found this HDMI cable for like 10 bucks when Blockbuster was closing. They had a uh, deal on HDMI cables, so I bought that. So uh, anyway, that's uh, basically what it looks like set up. And I will uh, be right back when I have my TV all set up, and I will show you what it's like. Now here it is set up on my TV. All I did was just change the input on my TV. I didn't want to keep you waiting there, so here it is. Um, as you can see, it's a really nice uh, layout, looks good. And of course you have your little Apple TV thing down there. So uh, um, it's all controlled by a remote uh, that comes with the TV right here. It only has seven buttons on it and those buttons are the directional buttons, the center button to select, the menu button which takes you back, and the po play pause button of course. Uh, you can also control your T Apple TV with the uh, remote app that comes on the iPhone or iPod as well as the iPad. So anyway, um, let's just take a look around here. One more thing to mention before I get on with this. This Apple TV is obviously small. It does not have any built-in memory at all. It connects to a wireless Wi-Fi network where it can stream movies from the internet. Now, it can stream your purchases from the internet as well. So, here is uh, what I mean. If I go to TV shows, and I go to purchased, it's going to have everything I own there. Everything that I have bought will pop up right here and I will be able to stream it right through my TV. For example, if I want to watch The Simpsons right now, 
I'm going to click stream and you give it a second and uh, I have to start from the beginning here it's, it even has the info on it and everything and there it goes I've never had it stop to buffer in the middle of a show it's really that great okay um, the, uh, the uh, there's a couple of extra settings you can change uh, you can make it yours kind of but that is uh, basically the use of the TV. Of course you have internet where you've got stuff like Netflix, NBA, NHL, MLB, Wall Street Journal, YouTube, all of that stuff. You can stream right here through here. But that is not the coolest thing about this Apple TV. I will be back describing the coolest thing about this Apple TV. Here we are on my iPad. Now you might be a little confused on how this would work with my Apple TV, but it does in fact. As long as you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Apple TV, you can actually stream stuff for, through your iPhone, iPad, or I, uh, iPod as long as it's running iOS 4 or later. So, uh, like the iPad 2, it has, more, uh, it has more capabilities than my iPad 1. It can actually AirPlay Mirror. Mine can just AirPlay just certain, like, certain things like songs, PowerPoint, movies photos, YouTube videos, Netflix, stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to show an example. I have music here and uh, I will just pick some ACDC and I'll just put on a song. It's going to play through this right now, but my volume is all the way down. But what you do is you go here, you click on this little button and go through Mason's Apple TV. You give it a second. There it goes. And of course, you can control it fully right from the iPad. And the same goes for movies, Netflix, everything like that. It's really cool. That's my favorite feature because I don't have iPod. I don't have iPod speakers for my iPhone or my iPad. So I really enjoy being able to play music through my TV, of course. So uh, that's basically the Apple TV in a nutshell. Um, I can't think of anything else that I'm missing right now. But uh, if I do find out I'm missing anything, I will uh, certainly make another video. Also, uh, check out my blog, masontechhelp.wordpress.com. Um, or you can just search Mason Tech Help on Google and you will find it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I will be back with more videos.